All right, man, peace. So those of you brothers who have frequented my channel for long enough, you know that I'm very fond of a saying that I have, which is that life is not easy, but it's very simple. And the way that you keep life simple is to not try to cause yourself trouble that's unnecessary. Don't try to throw yourself into situations or scenarios that are going to precipitate a response from someone else that can get you into unnecessary drama. How much drama do you get into in your life that's willful? That's what you have to ask yourself. How easy is it that if you bump into someone, if you step on their foot, you say, excuse me, I'm sorry. Pardon me, brother. Have a great day. I think I've stated this on my channel in the past, but when I was younger, you know, especially every so-called young black or Hispanic man knows this growing up in the hood. When you get to be 11, 12, 13 years old and you hit puberty, that's when that masculine energy, those hormones start to pump in your system. And that's when the phenomenon starts of you walking down the block and someone else is walking the other way and y'all look each other in the eye or whatever. And you don't know how many confrontations unnecessarily start just over that, that energy of machismo that's not properly balanced out with a sense of comportment and respect for your brother. Why do I say this? Because when you understand how to respect yourself and your brother's going to trickle over into other walks of life. So... There was a situation in Philadelphia a couple of days ago or yesterday in a Starbucks where a couple of younger so-called black men, they went into the Starbucks coffee shop and they were asked by the staff to either leave the restaurant if they were not going to purchase anything or possibly that they were going to get arrested. According to the official report, I haven't heard anything from these brothers as of yet. They were in the Starbucks to wait for their friend and they wanted to use the bathroom. Now, as many of us know, not just in franchises like Starbucks or McDonald's or Burger King, but oftentimes also in little mom and pop's restaurants, they will have a policy that the only way that you can use our restroom is if you buy something. Why is that? Because they're running a business. Now, this is not for wayfarers. This is not a public urinal. When you come in here, we don't want you loitering. We don't want you just hanging around. It's not a hangout spot. It's not the corner. So please either purchase something or you leave. That's normally how things go. And again, it's not just for franchises. Even in so-called black or Hispanic communities, you go into the little mom and pop's restaurant. You want to get you some curry goat or some oxtail or something. And you want to use the bathroom. Yeah, they'll let you use it as long as you bought something. Because they don't want homeless people to come into their store or their restaurant just sit around, possibly ruin the decor, bring in an, an unseemly element. They also don't want people going into their restroom, possibly using drugs or waiting in the restroom for someone else to walk in unknowingly and possibly get robbed or raped. That's the reason why they have those policies. So it's very simple. And we've all been through this situation before. You might go into a, a Starbucks with your homeboy or, you know, even with your lady might be a hot day you're walking down the street and you just need to take a rest or something but that's why when you hang out you always have money with you so that when you stop into these locations you need to use their restroom and they say you have to buy something no problem i'll buy one of those little donuts or those little danishes or whatever it's nothing but you know what they're going to talk about this story and i'm going to chime in outrage and now a police investigation after a video of two black men being arrested at a philadelphia starbucks goes viral now, did you see what this lady here, the anchor woman, made sure that she asserted within her delivery of the story? Two black men, they want to make this a racial issue. And brothers, is there oftentimes a racial element to many of these situations? Absolutely. But that's why I opened up this video by stating that we as men, we know when we're willfully stepping into some bullshit. When you walk down the street and you see a pile of dog shit in the street, you can walk around it or you can walk through it. It's up to you. When you're sitting in a restaurant or an establishment and you're mature, you know that they want you to purchase something because it's not a hangout spot. But when we get into this portion of the, of the year, once again, starting around the spring equinox, normally culminating in, in regards to situations like this around August, they love to push these race baiting storylines. The liberal media does. To help promote and propagate the victimization mentality in the so-called black man. As opposed to the accountability mentality in the so-called black man. 
And you know why I hone in on this? Because if you allow the so-called black man to believe that he can do whatever he wants in these so-called chain stores, these franchises, it's going to trickle over into how he treats his brother. He's going to think that he could do whatever he wants to his brother because he could do whatever he wants to the white man. So, of course, I could do whatever I want to another black man. Brothers, my channel is always going to be focused on the so-called black man. It's always going to be a pro-truth channel. And I'm not looking for sympathy from these other groups or these other demographics. If I, if I owned a restaurant and you came into my restaurant or my store and I had a policy that you had to purchase something to use the bathroom, I would hope that you would have enough respect for me as a restaurant owner, a business owner, and a man that you say, okay, sir, no problem. Because that's what I would do for you. You understand? These are basic things that our people have to mature into so that we don't allow ourselves to be puppeted by the liberal media to make so-called black men think that they should be entitled. Now, once again, I have not heard the rendition from these brothers. Now, if it turns out that they were in Starbucks and they asked to use the bathroom and they were told no by the staff and they said, OK, no problem. We'll just buy a cup of coffee. Can we still use your bathroom? And they still said no and called the cops. Now, that's a whole other issue. That's a whole other dynamic. But once again, it's pretty easy to avoid a lot of bullshit in your life if you want to. If you want to. The men say they were just waiting for a friend who showed up as they were being taken away in handcuffs. What did they get called for? Because there are two black guys sitting here meeting me. Yes, I did. Well, what did they do? What did they do? Now you see that this Caucasian man is saying, well, what did they do? Is it because they were a couple of black guys? This is most likely a liberal Caucasian man sitting in Starbucks. And he wants to get involved. Maybe he's experiencing a certain sense of white guilt. Brothers, there's a lot of different levels to the dynamics in this society. It's always great to be respected. It's also great to respect others, no matter what their race is, religion, whatever it is. We have to conduct ourselves with comportment. When you're a king, you utilize discretion and discernment. And part of discretion and discernment is understanding when some nonsense is heading your way and you can let it slide by to the side or you could take it on head on, but you have to be willing to deal with the consequences. As of right now, I can only go by what the official statements are, which is that these two brothers went into the Starbucks. They were sitting there waiting for their friend and they were told by the staff that, no, you cannot use our bathroom unless you buy something. If that's not true, if they bought something and they were still denied access to the bathroom and they got upset by that, that's a whole different situation. But in regards to the official statements thus far, the brothers either should have just bought something and used the bathroom or, or said to themselves, you know what? We don't have time for any nonsense today. We're just going to leave here and go, and go text our homeboy and wait for him somewhere else. That's all there is to it. Police say the men sat down and asked to use the restroom without buying anything. According to the police commissioner, Starbucks corporate policy states that restrooms and tables are for paying customers only. So employees told them to leave, but the men refused. Now, police say they also wouldn't go after officers asked them to leave three times. Now, you see that, brother? Um, I stated this already. If you're, if you're going to rebel, if you're going to revolt, if you're going to decide to disregard authority, then be ready to die. I have no problem with cats deciding that they're going to go against the cops. But whatever happens, that's what you should be considering that you bargain for. If you're just a cat to say, you know, I'm just done with it. I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of this society. I'm tired of this life. And you decide to go ham and go all out. That's the decision that you made. But you have to pick your battles in life, man. You have to understand what's worth going all out for. Is it really worth trying to start a uh, some type of mini skirmish or scrum in a Starbucks because supposedly, allegedly, they wanted you to buy something in order to use their bathroom. And once again, that's a common policy, not just amongst franchise organizations, but also little mom and pop corner stores, little restaurants. You go to the Mexican man's uh, taco stand. You know, if he has a little hole in the wall spot, in the hood, you go there, you want to buy some, some fish tacos or something, and you want to use his bathroom, you have to buy something. That's common, man. The video has sparked a lot of debate over whether the men were racially profiled. 
Well, the only way that we would know that they were racially profiled is if they had followed the policy. That's why, brothers, it's always good to use the law against those who are not truly trying to uphold the law. Meaning what? Had they followed the policy of Starbucks and adhered to what the employees of that establishment asked them and they were still treated rudely and asked to leave, then they could have said we were the victims of racial profiling or we were the recipients of racial profiling. That's what they could have stated because you're really only a victim when you allow it. You could be the recipient of something but not necessarily the victim of something. You're the victim of something if you let it happen and you don't do anything about it. That's when you're a victim. But had they followed the protocol and the people of Starbucks or the employees, the manager, etc., had not conducted themselves in a lawful way, then they would have a leg to stand on. But in regards to what occurred, what the official statements are that's being delivered in the mainstream news, I'm sorry, but the brothers should have shown better discretion, better decision making. The commissioner posted a Facebook video saying he thinks his officers did nothing wrong. If you think about it logically, that is well, that's your first mistake, bro. Most people don't think about anything logically. Most people think emotionally. And unfortunately, many of our brothers in the so-called black community, they think emotionally. And that's my issue with a lot of cats. If you're going to be emotional, then be emotional all the way. If you're going to be zealous, be zealous all the way. Don't come on the internet and talk all this pro-blackity black shit and revolution and everybody's a coon, but your bitch ass is still in your mother basement. I need to see you on the news, nigga. I need to see you ready to go all out. You know, go all out and start the, start the revolution. Then I'll respect you. But I don't want to hear any of that emotional nonsense, those diatribes on the internet, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. 100 words per minute, all in caps. All right? Miss me with all that. Go all out. That's my issue with these brothers in this Starbucks. Once again, when I see stories like this, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that the situation really is they tried to buy a cup of coffee and they were just asked to leave after a while because then they would have a lawsuit on their hands. Then they could take it to court and they could actually get a settlement. That's how you conduct yourself in an upright manner. But to say, well, you know, we're just going to chill here and beyond that, we're going to use your bathroom and we're waiting for our homeboy. Bro, this is not the park, man. It's not the park. I remember back in the day, me and cats, we would go, we would chill at Barnes & Noble, and sometimes they would say, you guys have to buy something. No problem. We go get some juice, or we go get a bottle of water, or we go get, you know, one of those little pastries, and we would just chill there and go over whatever we were going over, the scriptures or history or what have you. It's no problem. That is how you conduct yourself so that the people there are comfortable with you, and therefore you can do what you want to do and get accomplished what you want to get accomplished. Did the brothers not have any money on them that they couldn't afford to buy something? That's why when you leave your house, you should have some pocket money. So that in case you need to use the bathroom and you have to buy something in an establishment, you can do so. No issues, no worries. Brothers, once again, please do not get caught up or involved in, in shit that you can avoid. A lot of life is just knowing how to avoid dumb shit and dumb people. It's not that difficult. If a business calls and they say that someone is here that I no longer wish to be in my business, they now have a legal obligation to carry out their duties, and they did just that. The commissioner says the men were released after Starbucks decided not to file charges. Of course Starbucks decided to not file charges because they're worried about the Black Lesbians Matter movement descending upon Starbucks headquarters. That's what they're worried about. <laughs> Going to be 10,000 big... Black dykes with dreadlocks <laughs> with big ass signs talking about only thing Starbucks likes that's black is their coffee. <laughs> they scared to death right now. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson has apologized and says company policies will be reviewed. Bullshit. You guys are not going to review no damn company policy. Because if you do, Starbucks will become an official hangout spot for people who are going to be intending to do all type of nefarious things. That's the main reason why they have those policies. Most people in general do not want you in their establishment, in their business, unless you're going to purchase something. It's like, and look, every so-called black man been through this. 
you go into a certain store, whatever it is, let's say you go to a little corner store, whatever, you got to buy, you know, some shampoo or some bar of soap or whatever, and somebody following you around and, sir, you need help with something. If you know where the item is that you're trying to find, you say, no, I'm good. If you don't, you say, yeah, can you help me find, you know, where's your soap or where's your deodorant or whatever. You know that they followed you because you're a so-called black man. But if you know who you are as a person and you're not here trying to build bridges with every damn body, you're not worried about it. Now, if you're a cat that wants that hug from everybody, oh, man, why you following me? Why you always harassing us black folks? Why you doing that? You know why you like that? You know why you're getting emotional like that? Because you need these other races to love you. I don't need you to love me. I need you to give me the fucking deodorant so I could buy it and go home. Because I don't give a shit about you. Just like I don't care if you don't like me. I need to get this deodorant or this bar of soap and take my ass home. That's it. Have a nice day. And when you understand how to operate in life according to the whys as opposed to um, how come you don't like me. Life is just about why, how, what. Basic things to get you what you need so that you can continue on in your life. Worry about the big things and worry about the big picture so you don't have to be concerned with having handcuffs put on you because you want to use the, the bathroom in Starbucks. This is nonsense right here. Like, give me a break. Johnson also says he hopes to meet with the two men to apologize in person. Yeah, he want to meet with the two men to apologize in person so that they don't go and call the Black Lesbians Matter movement. But anyway, brothers, that's it on that. We'll see if there are any other components that I may not be aware of or that have not been reported. Maybe the brothers actually tried to buy something and they were still asked to leave. Maybe they were being harassed. Who knows? I hope that I'm wrong. We'll see. But once again, point of video is this. Avoid little silly shit that you know is going to get you into more trouble than it's worth. In life, we're going to encounter things where we're going to have to dive head first into shit because the moment is crucial and we have to handle our business. And yes, we could get in trouble for it, but it's worth it. But for every moment like that, there are a thousand moments where you just brush it off and do what you need to do to keep living and maintain your priorities, your family, your, your friends, what have you, the things that are important. Not making sure that Starbucks allows you to use the bathroom without having to buy something, allegedly. Anyway, peace.